Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Uh, sorry for not posting that much on YouTube lately. That's because I had to move again. So as you can tell in my different background. Um, so this is like the third time in two years I had to move. Um, and hopefully this is the last time. This is going to be my permanent home. Um, but yeah, I'll be back to posting lots of new videos very soon. Um, starting with this episode. And we're going to look into something really simple, which is just how to kick off a Framework 7 application in 2019, because uh, since last year there, year, there has been a couple of changes. And let's have a look at this. So, um, so I would say in 2018, the, the best way would have been just to pick one of these, um, one of these templates on, from the Framework 7 starter website um, and just, you know, just download them uh npm install and and and, and just go from there uh now this still works but there's a much better alternative now which is the framework 7 command line interface also known as cli um and i highly highly recommend to install this because it will make your life so much easier to um to create a new project so all you have to do is uh, called npm install minus g Cordova. Now this is not mandatory if you're not using Cordova, but I recommend to just do this because uh, most of the time you will be using Cordova anyway. Uh, don't forget the minus g flag to install this globally. And then you can install the framework 7 CLI by running this command, npm install minus g framework 7 dash CLI. And that's pretty much it. Um, after, after installing that, you can go to your terminal. Oops. And the first thing you want to do is create a directory for your project. Now, the CLI is not going to do that for you, so you have to create a directory. So for the, 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 ah, sorry, for this purpose, I'm just going to create a directory called test. Go in there. And then go framework 7 and create. Um, there are two versions of the, of the CLI. One is um, you, a version that you only run on the terminal and the other, other one which is uh, used in your browser. I will show you both. Um, and the first one you just run uh, by calling create. And then it will ask you a couple of questions. You can go for a simple web app. You can uh, go for PWA. Um, that's a progressive web app. We were gonna see a couple of videos on this one soon because I'm very hyped about PWAs um, and the third one is the Cordova app um, if that's your choice but we're going to go with a simple web app uh, we're going to give it a name call it test um, then you can choose if you want just framework 7 itself with this core with, with template 7 um, or if you want to use a view and react um, I am currently on the view chain so I'm going to go with that one um, and then you can choose from three different um, templates. Actually, these three are probably um, the ones from here. Uh, so I'm just going to go with a single view. Then you can choose which um, preprocessor pre you want for CSS, if you want any at all. Um, I usually either go with a clean CSS only, or I use SAS. Um, less or styles are usually do not use. So let's go with SAS over here. Um, then we can uh, specify a custom theme color. For the moment, we're not going to do that. Um, and usually you want to include the icon fonts. Um, they, no, they do not come with Framework 7 um, in, uh, in the package installed. So you have to install these. All right, so now your application is ready to go. So let's have a look. Um, to run it, just call npm start. There you go. And there you have your running Framework 7 application. And I would say that was really quick. Uh, you can call the CLI from any folder uh, on your computer where you're at because we've installed it globally. Um, and yeah, so that's one way to do it. Uh, so let me cancel that by hitting control C um, and let me create another directory I'm going to call it test2 
And now I'm gonna call uh, framework seven create dash dash UI. And this will run the username phase for the for the CLI, um, which you can use if you're more into that and you don't like using terminal. Um, so you can specify um, the path where you want to install this. So in this case, I'm gonna call it temp2. Um, then again, you can choose, do you want a simple web app? Do you want a progressive web app or a Cordova app? So we're gonna go with a simple web app again. Uh, give it a name, call it test2 this time. Uh, this time, let's say we use React instead. Actually stick with view, I like view. Uh, stick with a single view. Um, at this point, I highly recommend to not play around with this setting with the bundler. Um, if you mess this up, you, you're gonna probably be in big trouble. Uh, you can change the settings here, um, but for the moment, I think you don't want to um, want to mess around with this one. Um, so just keep, keep Webpack enabled, um, and the CSS, you can choose whatever you like. So I'm gonna go with SAS again, um, and then there are four options over here. Uh, and yes, you want uh, the, the icons and the fonts. Um, you can customize um, the theme a little bit by chasing, choosing a primary color. So we can do that now. So let's say we want a greenish color. Oh, that's very green. Uh, yes, yeah, something like that. And the funny part is that once you choose a color here, this, um, this installer will also change this color. See, so when I pick something here, it's quite fun actually. Yeah, let's go with this reddish color. Um, and then you can opt to use a dark theme if you want, which looks pretty cool. Um, hashtag iOS 13. Um, and if you want, you can click this one to fill the navigation bar. I usually do not do that as it looks a little bit um, to, to Android-like for me. Um, <clears throat> and you can customize the build a little bit over here. I uh, usually don't want to do that. Just, just keep the default. And yeah, I think that's it. It's created. All right, so we're done. Let's go back to our terminal. Uh, let's go to our directory and just run npm start, right? And there's our application. We have our black and orange theme, which looks pretty neat. Um, and yeah, from here you can just play around, play around with the components or just uh, form this to whatever you uh, want it to be. Uh, just one thing, yeah, there is an option to uh, pick a new theme, which is called Aurora. Um, for those of you who don't know Aurora, um, framework 7 started originally as a mobile framework, okay? so it was primarily targeted for iOS devices, which are iPhone, iPads, um, and Android. So we had themes for iOS and one for material design. Um, and there's a new theme which is called um, Aurora, and that one is entirely for um, for desktop systems. And basically, it's it looks a little bit like uh, a lot like like iOS. Um, but it has a couple of tweaks in it. Um, so let me show you real quick how to switch that. Um, so let me th open this in Real Studio. Wow, that's a little too big. There you go. Um, and there is a file under the source folder and components called app.view. You want to scroll down a little. And over here, the framework 7 parameters are set for the initialization of the app. Um, and here is a, here's an option called theme. So if I change this to Aurora, save it, and start the app again. Actually, if you if you keep running the app, um, it will auto compile, so uh, you don't have to restart all the time. And there we go. So um, we still have our black and orange theme, but this is Aurora. Um, 
And as I said, it looks a little bit like iOS, at least on my Mac, but it has a couple of tweaks. So there's a whole blog post on that on the Framework 7 blog. Um, but if you look closely, for example, when you when you hover with your mouse over certain elements, you see a hover effect. Okay, so this is something that you normally do not have in the in the mobile themes, but you have that in the Aurora desktop theme. So uh, I highly recommend to play all around with this, um, and I'm also going to post a new a couple of new videos on this topic. So stay tuned, and yeah, that's it for the moment. Uh, have a good day, and see you next time.